Well, shoot. Of course I already knew you had the heart and strength of a storm in Team Skull's stronghold, but I didn't know you were this good. And your Pokemon works real hard for you. Let me fix your team up for you. Here, this is yours. If you want to use the dark type Z power, you got to do it like this. Mm. <laughs> there, congratulations or whatever. You officially finished your Ula Ula trials. You got somewhere else to be, don't you? Don't try to destroy the whole place. And, oh, you boy, Gladian, tell me. If you're really trying to get stronger, as you say, then what are you depending on Team Skull for? Really? Tia! Don't you dare say a word about this being fun. I have been stronger. I've been the kind of trainer who would seize victory like Toracat wants to. Then Lily would have... I'm ready to do whatever it takes now. But where, where was Lily taken? It couldn't be Potown. Tia was there the whole time. Hmm, so you're not quite as dumb as you are naive. It'll be at Aether Paradise. Aether Paradise? Aether Paradise is harbor. We made it as far as without running into trouble. But I don't like how quiet it is. You two, stay alert. But why would Lily be here at Aether Paradise? She will, just will be. Alright, this guy. Fine, so what are we gonna do? Should we look for her? I guess. We'll take the elevator. You, you guess? And we're following this guy? He doesn't have any plan. This atmosphere is completely different from when we last came to Aether Paradise. Be careful, Tia. And on the elevator hall, we made it this far together. Whew, okay, that was a long, long, long little thing. Well, what's poppin', people? Um, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And uh, last episode, we basically figure out that Lily was actually did, did get kidnapped in, in Aether Paradise. And now we're here at Aether Paradise. And before we went to Aether Paradise, we basically beat um, the Kahuna Nanu, who was an officer. And now we're here, and now we're gonna break into this bullshit and find Lily. So, smash that like button if you like like what I'm doing so far. I'm right behind you. And true to spot it, I'll fight with all I wipe uh, while I have to wipe you out. Shit. He had a talcoon. <laughs> what does this mean? What does this mean? You may think you're so strong, but Eighth of Paradise is huge. I was told to run away from trainers, whoever they might be. Why does she look so tired, like... Kecleon? Are you serious? These bitches don't lost their minds. Go, girl. Hey, you're strong as these. There is no way it can turn you away. 
that far, but he doesn't even fight for it by himself. I will fight with all my strength and more in order to protect the Aether Paradise. That looks so one of the scientists are here. Okay, so we beat all the trainers here. <laughs> Just like I thought. What are you? What were you doing here? Looks like outsiders can't use the main elevator to reach the lower floors. I was afraid this might happen, but still, what a pain. We don't have any choice. We have to go up. I, Faba, and the great is their tree French. Uh, only one in the world. I am irre irreplaceable. And here you came back uninvited? Like you don't know why. You of all people should know everything what happens in Aether Foundation. Isn't that right, high and mighty branch chief? Hee <laughs> hee, look at you. Living out in the world hasn't been so kind, hasn't it? But I'm still not telling you anything. And you all people should understand why, Gladian. Hey Tia, you know why being a trainer is so great? Because when you're battling, it doesn't matter if you're a kid or an adult. Everyone's equal in Pokemon battle. Ho oh, ho, isn't that right? And what do you think? So if you wish to battle me, branch chief Faba? The man who is called Aether Paradise's last line of defense is to battle a mere child? As you will. <laughs> Joe Lydia's. <laughs> Get your wing. I'm gonna shut up before I get mad. <laughs> To get a little idiotic Cause I'm about to fight you <laughs> How this can this be? How could this child? Oh, look at you, Tia. And Faba is real strong, too. So, as I said, Faba, you of all people know what I'm here for. Indeed, the world truly hasn't been kind to you, has it? Look how hard it has made you. If you're looking for Cosmo, I suppose it might be downstairs. Downstairs? Oh, yeah, Miss Wiki did say there was another level further down, didn't she? What do you do down there? Experiments to reach a, whole, a world different from Alola. That's what I've been told, yes. We're in a bit of a hurry, Faba. A lift would be nice. Why not? This is an act of kindness I can do to you thanks to my position as branch chief. Tia, how? If you're ready, let's head down. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Get your leading <laughs> that ugly ass chin hair out of here. Everything looks the same. I guess it's only been two years though. Wow, this is a secret hideout. Don't get too excited, Hal. Though I guess it's better than freezing from fear or nerves. So, where do we do go now? There are two labs up ahead. I'll check the first lab, Secret Lab A. You two check out Secret Lab B. It's the second lab down the hall. Why do you get the first one, and why do you know all this? Just focus, Hal. You think you can do that? You can't trust Faba. I'm sure he's already told half the Foundation all about us. You didn't even answer my question. I know it's gotta be nerves, eh? I reckon that you're more afraid to be here more than either of us, huh, Gladian? Here, Tia, you can take this.
Lily must be scared right now. Let's buckle down and do this. What's this secret lab? This place makes Poe Town look safe and welcoming. Intruder spotted. We'll protect our secret labs. There are only researchers like us in here in secret labs. Looks like I'm next. I'll show you the power of Aether Paradise. We're currently working on the development of a new Pokeball. It's apparently to be used to catch Pokemon not found in Alola. I, how I guess I what you're looking for, Cosmog, right? If you want to know what kinds of experiments we did on it, then you'll have to beat me. Are you serious, bro? Yeah. You really do just win, don't you? Honestly, it seems like the way they go. We're doing experiments to try to find a way to open the ultra wormholes using a creature called Cosmo, I guess the key. Uh, okay. Oh look, Gladian. Hey no. It's not here. Don't you think about coming in here. Me and Nal, we're more like alike than we might look. We're both what we're made of to be. I was like an ornament to my mother, wearing whatever she told me to wear, acting however she wanted me to act. Nova's was crafted just as carefully. It was made just to battle the beast. In this room, right here. Ooh. Okay. Jesus. The filthiness. Well, what are you kids doing in here? Don't touch anything with your grimy hands. This research is our life. I don't care if you're a kid or not. I'll send you flying if you threaten it. I'm tailing Gorbis. Yes, the right two twins. Time for a little bit of this. particularly original mind, but whatever there is light, there is also a shadow. There's another world that cannot be brought through idle talk, got it? I may be an expert at studying Pokemon, but I'm no expert when it comes to battling them. You guys are in Lab 8. The guys are in Lab 8 door. They're pretty experimented with battles. After all, they spent so long researching uncontrollable Pokemon. Hey, focus people, where's Lily and Cosmog? We may have lost, but it doesn't mean we're going to help you. I'm not telling you anything. She's not here, is she? Even you can see that. Come on, T, let's split up and look around. Maybe we'll find some clue. I, I thought that the Aether Foundation people were next, folks. Okay, we're going to end this episode here, and I'll be right back. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, y'all, and see you in the next episode. Bye!